go and we just <clears throat> so do I need any qualifications to become a photographer well you have choices you can go to college spend three years learning how to do things um, which is a very good way or you can go and work for someone who is a photographer who you like their kind of work um, it's another way you can play around yourself if you have enough money to support yourself you can actually just start taking pictures that you want um, it's all according which way you want to go. There, are, There's many ways to go, but uh, college is a definite, definite uh, good idea because you're learning other things at the same time and, and um, at college expense or other people's expense. So how, how do you know that you, know, you might better make a living of it as a photographer? Can you tell if you're any good? No, not really. Um, basically... People, and anyone that knows you or likes you is going to say, oh, it's great, it's great, it's great. You know? um, so I suppose the, the question that you asked is yes. The answer is yes, not no, really. Because you only you have faith in the work that you're, you're doing. Um, as I said, all your friends are going to say it's great, your mum and your dad and your friends. But uh, you have to take it to people that you respect and show it and say, right, you know, what... What do you think? And hopefully that person will be truthful to you and um, give you a good answer and say, no, you need to work on this or that's great and do more. The more photographs you take, the, um, I suppose, basically the experience of taking pictures day in and day out. It's like, you know, if you take pictures of flowers and the more you do it, the better you get. And just uh, keep snapping. So how, how would I go about getting my first job as a photographer? I mean, write, do I write to people? Do I? Well, it's always hard. It's, it's, uh, you have to put yourself out there and go to the place where there are photographers. Now, a small town may have one photographer, so you're probably not going to have too much chance of getting a job. If you go to London, it's very expensive to live. You may have to work for someone for very small wages. Um, but it's experience and anything you do if uh, someone wants you to take a picture of their dog and you like taking pictures of dogs just keep taking pictures of dogs if you want to do children go to your friends and say hey I want to take pictures of your children you want to do weddings you can play around maybe not weddings but you can play around you can certainly follow a photographer around and snap pictures and start getting some idea of the way that you work what you like to do how you like to do it and find some kind of interest and then if you can find a photographer that is that let's say you do sailing pictures um you want to go and work with one of the good sailing guys you work for free work for weekends work on whatever whether you work in their shop and then go out with them on the weekends to shoot or something like that you know there's a trade-off and that way you get your own portfolio together and then you can either do that or you can go and work for someone when you've got a little bit, you know, that is going to progress you or you go on to um, showing your own wares to agencies, to magazines and things like that. Whether it's when you're your Flickr space or your MySpace or what, all those kind of things, there's ways to get it out there. And, but, you know, there's also millions of other people doing it. So it's just persisting. And um, if you really, really want it, you've got to go to the people that you respect and try and work for them. So if you, if you were starting out, would you, do you think it's better to concentrate on one type of photography? I mean, should I, for example, try and get a job with a newspaper because I like, I know it's photojournalism, would you call that? Um, or would I try and get a job with a local photographer carrying his cameras and because that makes me an all-round photographer? Do you, think it's in, do you think it's important to have a specific interest or a direction to go in? It's always helpful it? because if you're interested in something, then you know, you're going to enjoy doing it. If you don't have any thought about boats, you don't want to go and be an all-round photographer, do you? Um, newspaper photographers are, are learn very quickly how to shoot on the fly. They can sort of, if an ambulance is coming down the road, they know their camera's ready and shot, and they're going to get a picture no matter what. Um, but specific, no, it's, it's a, you've got to learn how to handle a camera in all situations. That's the main thing. So every time you go out, 
and especially with digital now you can shoot and shoot and shoot and then it doesn't cost you anything you just wipe it off every mistake is not a mistake that you think it's a mistake it's not but you just keep on going and one day you get one picture out of a thousand that you've taken that you think that's really nice and in 40 years you may still think it's nice and can I make a good can I make a good living as a photographer you can make a good living, you make a great living, yeah. It's, it's, it's fun, but it's 99% of people are not going to make money, a good money at it. They're going to make a living. It's all according to what you want in life, you know. You want a, a great life and fun. I mean, I've travelled all over the world and been all over the place and met wonderful, wonderful people and made much money, but it's been great. So what, what other skills then? Obviously I've got to be able to be good at using a camera, but if you could just very quickly, what other skills do you think would help me towards people being skills. a photographer? People, people, skills. Skills. people skills. Just learn how to deal with people. Unless you're doing animals, then you learn how to deal with animals. You know, you might be a, you know, you might want to go out to Africa and shoot thing, and you've got to have long lenses and this and that, and, and you've got to learn animal behaviour. But you learn people behaviour. Well, you don't. Well, I suppose you can learn it. But you're either a people person or you're not. And if you're not a people person, then for God's sake, don't go and try and do it. You know, because it's it's all wooden, it's all terrible, it's all horrible. You have to know how to deal with people if you're doing people. And the majority of photography involves people. You know, if you're not that kind of person, then go and do oil rigs, go and do ferries or kettles, cornflake boxes and stuff. And you might make great money at that. It'll be boring to most photographers because most people, photographers, are a little bit extroverted maybe and they enjoy the uh, mixing with people and kind of stuff. Thank you. You're welcome.